drie piepen. Goeiedag mensen, good day people. Nou wat uh, I done with the XT2 motor was I replaced the oil filter housings. I swapped them and this is your original or the original filter housing looks like. There's a sensor on the one side and then that's the oil light switch sensor on the, on the other side. So I don't know what filter fits on this uh, housing so I took it off and I replaced it with the XD2 um, filter housing. Met die XD2 filter bij Zing vervang. Nou, uh, dit is die oorspronkelijke filter wat uh, hulle moet gebruik. Nou, wat gebeur het met die filter? Je krijg het niet meer nie. You don't get these filters no, uh, anymore. You can't buy them in, anywhere. So these uh, filters, are, there were four of them left in the store. So I bought them at a very cheap price. But now I've fitted it to the XT3 motor and the, after a while the oil light came on. So, I'm uh, just demonstrating the problem. If I suck on this pipe, I can't suck through it. It's blocked solidly. So, it looks new, brand new, but it's blocked. So, I can't use this filter. So, no. So on these filter housings, I tested some fuel for, uh, oil filters and I came across this filter. Now this filter, you, uh, they also make in China. It's also made in China, these filters. And this is the make, the China make filter. Now, filter has a plastic cover on it to keep the dust off while this filter has nothing it's just open in the box now this china filter where is it It's written down somewhere, yeah, at the bottom there. Made in China, uh, anyway. I'm going to take this plastic off. Okay. And as I suck it. There's a um, one-way valve in it but I can suck through it. This filter is a similar filter you can blow and suck through it but there's no one-way filter oh, a uh, valve no one way well, but geen in the richting klep in die filter. Maar dit maakt nie saak nie, dit werk goed. Doesn't matter, it works well. On the box, they say it's for the Opel, Vauxhall and uh, 
Tayu and Chevy engines. So if I turn it on this housing, it fits hundred percent. So I use Opel Chevy Tayu or Opel Vauxhall for this from now on on my Purdue engines with this fitted with these housings so now the light is off but the light doesn't come on again so that is about the filters oil filters so the oorsprong look at the original filter this one is a problem that one is a garbage so I wasted my money on it buying second hand or old filters lying in a store could have kept that, uh, that money and just purchased these um, new filters get the wooden Straight off. This is a cardboard box. And then we go to the pickup. And I lie underneath the pickup to show you what on there with a vibration story. Because it didn't make sense, it didn't make a uh, sin gemaakt that deze motor so ongebalanceerd is. It didn't make sense that it, the motor is so unbalanced. Because in that car, there wasn't a problem. It was nice and quiet and powerful too and fuel efficient. But now, yeah, I have a vibration coming through my steering wheel and the whole dashboard rattles. So what I then afterwards I realized was the next problem. I'm just going to tear a piece of this cardboard box off like so. And then go underneath. So low to the ground. My finger in the way. There's a cross member there. Now the, the sump of these um, XD2s are different from the, the sumps of the XD3s. Uh, I wanted to fit the sump of the XD2 on it, but it had a dent under the, on, on the yeah. So I was scared it might block the oil pickups, oil flow. So I just I decided to put, uh, rather put the original thumb back, but it, what happened was I couldn't get the cardboard in there. The thumb was against, up against the cross member. Now at least I can get the cardboard in. I uh, spaced with metal plate on the mountings there on both sides and I lifted the engine a little bit up from the cross member and now it's 100% no vibration whatsoever it's even quieter than the XD2 motor 
So, uh, that's the story about the vibration of the pickup. There's a story of the all of the pickups uh, vibrating. So now I can take another view from the auto. Blue auto, five no five auto, my blue five or five car has a slow puncture on the right and the rear. So I have to give it a little blow. And this is not nice to put the thing on the sand, ground or whatever, and the pipe on the, in the sand. I'll put this thing on. So, right. Too hard already. <clears throat> Don't get the chocolate so hot. My leg, Vicky, it's leaking a little bit, so I can leave it like that. <clears throat> so this little McGuffin works well. Oops. There's a dumb apparat that I feel good. I'm taking out here. Akus are going to be busy. Akus is up to be in a half of the It's on three and a half lights. So, I wonder what number battery this is. <coughs> I can't get it off with one. That's it. Number one battery. Mm. It's my first one I bought. This battery has work, done a lot of work. It's my first battery. On the charger, it's a standard charger that you get the fast charger and the standard charger. The fast charger then mess the batteries up quickly. But the standard charger, the slower you charge these lithium and chemistry are better. You must very slowly charge them. Then they last long. Okay, from this video. Okay, now I'm there with this front filter again. I took the grinder and I cut it open and I took the element out and it's blocked
totally blocked. So there must be something wrong with this, these two, the four filters in lying in the store. I bought it uh, for cheap price, and now I can't use it in any case. Could have used that money to buy decent filters of those Opel filters, Opel Vo uh, Chevy Vox, uh, um, Tayu filters. You know. Okay. Anyway, that is now about the, the filter. So now I know. I want to show you before I go. Now what I want to give you a little base for the cart. Um, the filler rate system be down. It has a um, safety feature. Now the, this um, oil pressure unit switch works like this. When the oil gets pumped into what this side comes out of there and it fills this whole space, yeah under pressure and then it forces the oil through the filter to the inside and through this hole yeah and then the pressure picks up and it pushes the switch that way like so and then the light goes off and then the oil comes out of here into the engine so when the filter is blocked, the oil goes in by that over there because this is under pressure. And the pressure goes in there and it can't go through the paper filter element. Can you do the paper come in? Then go on the other side of the oven then with a gat in by that hole and it pulls this, this apart and then this contacts the light comes on so immediately if the light comes on you know uh, there's either no oil in it because the light comes on because it doesn't press that way or the light comes on because the filter is blocked and gone and it pulls this valve this way so this valve mustn't come this way, they must be like that. As soon as this one comes this way, the light will come on. So it's either very dirty oil or block filter. There's a filter that fit them off stop. Uh, as of the will is by a fire. Then come the there's a look behind. There's a failure rate system, um, failure rate lucky work, and very upsuck. Um, it's better than the gasoline motor. The gasoline motor only has a solid switch. So it only comes on when there's a loss of pressure. That's called the oil of the benzine motor, petrol motor, come net on as the uh, Truck full of gun from uh, Uli. Uli truck full of gun. But not as a filter for stop water. Not when the filter blocks up. In that time the engine is buggered. So the idea the motor is kapot. So here is a filler height. This is a safety on the diesel motors on the XD range engines. I don't know if the XUD also uh, has that feature. Same switch, don't know those engines, but this is a very good switch, pressure, oil pressure unit. So, now I'll say,
So from the oil for the storage, let's we take it for a ride. Laat ons dit voor een neem voor een rit na die oliefilter storage. Voor een aal keer van die oliefilter. Now on top of the pass, now of the, of the top of the bar pass. There's a direction I've come from, that's the direction I've come from, on top of the pass now. That's the Swartberg Mountains. And there is Turbocop in the distance. Lady Smith, 30 kilometers from here. Okay, now we go back. Let's turn it off now again. And now the actual top. There. Just around the corner. That was an old road coming down there. And then it went across down here. Let me see. Oh, the first road went down there. And then it went 
across all over down there. And then there was another one there. It's, this is the third pass. It, uh, I think the last one came up here. So it came down here and went down here. Just on the left side of the telephone pole. Then it went right down to the bottom there. There you can see a little piece of it sticking out there. Okay, let's go further. And this is the cutting we saw from above. And this is the, the turn I took out of the cutting. Oh, the road is still going down here. Where is it? Um. Where is the old road now? It must be down there in a, in a ravine in a Cliff down there somewhere. Anyway, and then I'm going to drive down this turn here and around that corner there and there where the truck overturned with the grain on it. And I stop there, the corner right down at the bottom there. Okay, right, I'd been there, on that turn right at the top there, and I took a video down this way. So the old road is now going down here in a kloof somewhere, and the truck touched the gate rail here, and it overturned there where that pickup is now. Quite a dangerous pass it is. And then I'm going down to where I stopped last time. So I couldn't stop here there because there was a beggar. There where I wanted to stop last the last time I stopped there. Now there's a beggar, so I I had to pass there. Um, the, now, the old road went above this one. And it came along here. And behind, between these two fig trees. And it went up there. Around the corner up there. And now I'm going to drive some path further, on a bit further in, and there's a path where I'm going to drive it. I stopped here last time, there's where the road comes down again, the old road, and it goes along here, and it goes down there. around the corner down there, underneath the, this road. Many cars went down here. Veel auto's het hier afgegaat. Dan hè, is dat lekker blue piece of a car still lying. Hmm. 
there comes a truck from on the, from the bottom. That's the right bottom that you see there. Here comes a truck. You must come very slow because it's steep and it's dangerous. That turn there, down there, it's dangerous. Okay, now we go a little bit further. I'm going to be further. Down there was a farm many years ago. Now the wind is strong, now you can't hear me. Oh, that bit the guard was up. That was lying here uh, on the old road down there. Truck took these guardrails down there. On this corner. 
turn here. And also a motorcyclist went, went over a guardrail there on that corner there, on that turn there. Um, if he was dead, I don't know, but apparently, yes. As far as I know. Some oil here, as you can see there, on the door there. Anyway, let's go further. There's another truck coming down. It's not a truck, but of course. There's the leftovers of the old farmhouse down there. There comes a big load. This is the old road still there. That's the new road. New road. Now I go a little bit further down, that's where I stopped last time. <clears throat> okay, I stopped there. Up there I, st I stopped last time and I went from here, there to here. And there the truck is going behind that hill there. It's going to come out that of behind that hill now, I can after I copy it out come. Yeah okay. Dar. The wind behind me is so erg nie. The wind isn't blowing so severe than up just like up there. It's quite strong. Okay, um, this is, was another neighbor's place. And nobody lives there no more. And there is the uh, derelict farm up there. And then there was a house somewhere down there too. There where the bus is coming. And there goes the truck around the corner. Okay, I'm going down there now, now. Here comes the bus. At high speed, coming up the cars coming down. Now stop this video here. Yeah? Stop this video you now here. Now we're almost at the bottom. That is the bottom. And there's the dam with the old house we saw from the top there. And then here was also a house there. They knocked that house down. And I is off off the cup. So then is it near Dari I is not dar with the dam. Another pickup, another pickup. 
compost. <coughs> okay, um, let's go back to further around the corner. Here comes a car. I'll call my auto on. Where the river flows. There is the turn I was talking about at the bottom. I hear cars coming along. Now the river is dry. Unfortunately, there's no water in this river. Stone dry. Nothing. This was a picnic spot, they closed it up because the people were ma making a mess of it. So, let's go, go a little bit further than this. Maybe I must put it here, like so, and then.
I'm back home. Let's be track by ice. Tot ziet van deze video. En dan zeg ik bye bye van deze video. En tot de volgende keer. Ik wil staan aan de andere kant daar. Oké, let's go. Bye bye. Until next time, tot ziens tot de volgende keer. Tot de volgende video. Tot de next video.